30 years in corporate America. It got to a point last year where I did well financially and I decided that I was no longer really getting any joy from it. What I wanted is a lot of freedom to do what I wanted when I wanted. There are days where I've had trades where I've made $5,000 in a day. It's tremendously worth it, both from a personal gratification perspective, but also from a financial perspective. Hey, JP. Hey, t Tim. So first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Of course. Uh, it's been a, a, a joy to, to get to meet the Stock Navigator folks and to participate in the class and uh, really start activating the learnings. I would love to learn more about you, you know, like where you're from, like what, what were you doing even before coming across Stock Navigators? Uh, my background is I uh, grew up in New York City. I studied electrical engineering in college. I, I then went into the Air Force and I worked in space and satellite weapon systems for five years as an officer in the Air Force. Studied part time, got an MBA at night, then went on to a corporate corporate career. You know, spent probably five years in the Air Force, about thirty years in corporate America. Yeah, and it got to a point last year where you know I I, I did well financially. I was able to support my family and live a great lifestyle. Um, put my kids through college, paid for weddings and all that stuff. That's amazing. Um, and I decided that I was no longer really getting any joy from it. You know, I really loved the people that I worked with, like the people that worked on my team. I had a team of 120 people around the world. But uh, I found like it, there was just something that was kind of chipping away at my soul, you know, and I needed to do something different. It just so happened that I was exploring a number of opportunities post-corporate America, this being one of them. And uh, I ended up leaving my job at the end of November last year and uh, embarked on this journey full-time. So I, I joined Stock Navigators Thanksgiving week, started the first week of December, and been part of the program for you know a little over six months. Got it. That's awesome. And how did you... I guess I like, hear about is how do you even decide on on like what opportunity to pursue, right? I'm sure you're looking at many different things online as you were trying to figure out what's next after your your corporate career. Really what compelled me to engage was the sincerity and the genuineness of Tom's story, your dad's story. I uh, also come from a family of, of immigrants who immigrated. And uh, there was just a, a genuineness in his persona and it resonated with me. So I wanted to learn more. I liked the fact that your dad decided to really take control of his financial future rather than leaving it to someone else. And through hard work, discipline um, and dedication, he was able to learn this craft. And the great thing about it is that he's willing to teach it to others so that they too can have a better life or an improved life, you know, and, and have, you know, if it's a career that you choose, you know, you could have an alternative lifestyle. If it's something you're looking to generate a side hustle or a little bit of income on the side, or just do better at managing your retirement portfolio. Um, I think the spectrum is pretty broad and depending on where you fit on the spectrum, you get out of it what you put into it. What I wanted is a lot of freedom to do what I wanted when I wanted and not to be tied to uh, a particular schedule. You know, I want to set my own schedule. It turns out <laughs> um, I'm probably working harder than I did when I was in my corporate career but it doesn't feel like work because I'm enjoying it so much. It, it never feels like work because I'm actually enjoying it so much. That's so awesome. And I think that's, that's what makes this process fun is because yeah. if you have to work really hard at something, but you don't enjoy it, then it also is a drag, right? So I think, <laughs> I think when, when work feels like fun, I think that's when you're really onto something, some money making opportunity. It does require some work, but I do think uh, as even what you're seeing now, like, the payoff is, is worth it. It's, it, it's enjoyable for me. Awesome.
And can you share about some of the the recent successes? You know, obviously, I know you you when you first started, like what you said, you had to put time in the sim and. Yeah. What's normal as well when you move to, to live money, you might lose a little bit of money as well working in yeah. psychology. Can you share yeah. some of the wins since you've overcome some of that psychology and, and uh, some of the, the upside? I mean, there are days where I've had trades where I've made $5,000 in a day, and there's days where I've lost a couple thousand dollars. I think the one good thing about the course is the emphasis of risk management, the, the overemphasis of risk management and being a responsible, disciplined trader with a plan and a strategy and not a gambler. When I went to live, I used, I funded it with my own capital. I, I lost a, you know, a bunch of money. It was money that, you know, I was willing to, to lose or at least stake to win. And I ended up losing it. And then I didn't like that experience and I didn't want to keep doing the same thing. And a lot of people say, well, you go back to sin. So what I ended up doing was researching these proprietary funding trade shops yep. that will basically stake you the capital, but you have to be evaluated. I've only started doing this like three weeks ago and I've already got funded for six accounts. Wow. Uh, $50,000 each. So three hundred thousand dollars of funding. So almost wow. three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars, and then I'm finishing my evaluations for another half million to two hundred and fifty thousand accounts, which I'm two thirds of the way through those evaluations. So they have a profit target, and I'm two thirds of the way to the profit target. Yep. One of the things that the Stock Navigators team recommends and reinforces is journaling every day. It's a great journey. It's an interesting journey. It's not for the faint at heart. If you put the time and effort in, it's tremendously worth it, both from a gratification, personal gratification perspective, but also from a financial perspective. For anyone who's watching this, who's kind of on the fence, what kind of advice would you have for someone who's who's on the edge but doesn't know if they should make the decision to join Stock Navigators? I, I think people need to do take an inventory and do their due diligence about stock navigators and what they're looking to do. Honestly, I didn't know a candlestick chart from a hole in the wall. You know, when I when I first started, I had no idea. If you're getting into it because you think it's going to be quick riches and you're going to make a lot of money, then you're getting into it for the wrong reason. So you have to take an inventory. This is about learning a skill set that you can apply in a disciplined, responsible way to enhance your, your life. You don't need a degree in engineering. You don't need a degree in math to be a successful trader. I think what you need is common sense. I think you need pattern recognition. If you're good at recognizing patterns and solving puzzles, you could be good at it. 100%. Awesome, JP. Well, I appreciate you joining today. That was great. And, and I love that you shared your journey and, and I'm excited to see what, what uh, you continue to do in our, our community. So great. Thank you.